ओम श्री साई राम लव इज माय फॉर्म ट्रुथ इज माय ब्रेथ ब्लेस इज माय फूड माय लाइफ इज माय मैसेज expansion is my life no reason for love no season for love no birth no death no birth no death love is my form om shri sai ram <clears throat> to continue with the love story of that boy from us who got transformed my sheer love of this god unconditional love of his god limitless selfless love of this god and in his mind he promised swami i love you and i will not do anything that may displease you even remotely and i'll strive to do everything possible to keep myself happy and make my parents happy because that was swami's command you be happy and make your parents happy unless we are happy we cannot make anyone else happy <clears throat> you cannot give what you do not have even in worldly sense for a moment even if we don't believe in a spiritual godly divinely talks and anything to do with that there are many even very good souls no problem at least this much everyone would agree upon that the purpose of all our struggle our working our planning is to get that happiness some happiness out of this world who doesn't want to be happy some person can say i am not interested in god manchidi who can say i am not interested in being happy no one so first be happy there is no external entity to make you happy you have to be happy happiness is being not in doing or achieving it is in being happiness is union with god being in constant communication with god being and living in constant and conscious presence of your highest purest noblest self your truest self that brings true happiness other things are little worldly pleasures passing clouds they are like pleasures of dry bone in the mouth of a dog he licks the blood coming out of from his own veins inside his mouth which are hurt by that sharp bone dry bone he thinks that taste is coming from the bone so he keeps munching he doesn't know because he is dog he doesn't know 
Dog mind will never realize fools refuse to learn. They think they are enjoying. Swami says life is love. Enjoy it. You can enjoy when you have love in your heart. Loveless hearts cannot enjoy life. <clears throat> so this boy, his friends came to his house and they were partying in his house. I appreciate his parents who trusted their son to give him permission to call their friends to their house for night party with drugs and drinks, everything. They trusted in his son, they trusted in their God and they trusted in love of their God. When he has lived with Swami for more than few weeks and Swami has loved him and he has tasted his love, they trusted him that our son will take care of himself. Swami will take care of our son. Today there is a deficit of trust in every relation, be it parents and children, be it husband and wife, be it boss and subordinate, be it leaders and followers. This deficit of trust makes our life miserable. Doubting minds are half blind. Trust you must. Swami says, yes, God has given you two eyes, T-W-O. Spelling of two is T-W-O. Trust with open eyes. But trust you must. Shraddhamanam labhyate gyanam. Shraddha is enlightened trust. Not a blind trust. The trust of Shabri in the wisdom of her gurus who told her, those Rishi Munis, that one day Rama will pass through this forest and he will come to your cottage. You will get an opportunity of his darshan, sparshan and sambhashan. That is enlightened trust. <clears throat> we have forgotten to trust because we have forgotten to love. Love is self-effulgent. It doesn't need any evidence. Truth is self-evident. Love is self-evident. They are self-effulgent. Like Sun God. Sun God does not need any propaganda, publicity or evidence for his existence and his qualities of giving light and warmth and heat. It is what it is. We need not pray to him or welcome him or invite him. It knows his praise. What does Sun God do? Every morning, every day. In our worldly sense, it does nothing. But everything happens because of his rising in the morning. And everything happens even because of his sitting in the evening. That is also required. Swami told one, sun is the cause of light as well as darkness. When it rises, it gives light. When it sets, it creates darkness. See the beautiful explanation of this God. Darkness is nothing but absence of light. It has no its, it does not have its own existence, independent existence. We have to trust light. We have to trust God. We have to trust each other. With open eyes. With enlightened mind. Then there will be no bluffing around. 
Today, everybody bluffs around everybody else because we do not have that enlightenment either in our hearts or in our minds. We cannot see through the game. We believe whatever is presented to us through newspapers and TV channels, through our so-called leaders who are actually, Swami says, dealers, not leaders anymore. We trust them. <clears throat> Because we want to trust them so that we can live in our comfort zone of taking any responsibility, any proactive involvement. We are living in Tamas. Tamas is predominant attribute of Kali age. We don't want to struggle. We don't want to be proactive in anything. We always want to live and die in our comfort zones. That is why we don't want to grow also because growth means pain. There is no growth without pain. So this boy he faces the challenge of life. Life is a challenge. Meet it. And he plays the game of life. Life is game. Play it. He silently and smilingly comes back to his room. All are drinking, dancing and they are on drugs. Who would know that one boy has gone? Or even their host is gone to his room. Because they are not in their senses. But when he comes to his room, locks himself, his reactions of body, because this body is used to drugs for so long, though he has been out of touch for a few weeks with Swami, yet the dominant desires in the subconscious mind they trouble him so much in that environment when all his friends are enjoying and dancing and parents have given him that freedom. You decide. We trust your wisdom. We trust his wisdom. But love has enlightened his discrimination. He doesn't want to put on a stick his faith and his love for Swami for this small petty indulgences. He struggles, he suffers the pain all night. Till early morning he goes into deep sleep. He is unaware what is happening in the next room. He sleeps off peacefully with God. And how does this God respond? He is in US. Swami appears in his early morning dream just to tell him only one thing. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. The God of the universe appearing to tell his child, to give encouragement to his child, to accept his love, to acknowledge his love, to tell him, thank you for loving me. Is this not a great lesson for all the parents? How many times we have been modest and humble to tell our kids, our children, thank you for loving me. God does not take us for granted. He does not even take our love and devotion for granted. He acknowledges it. He responds to it. Whenever you remember me with love, be sure that very moment I too 
लव यू विथ माई लव दैट इज अश्योरेंस एंड दिस लॉर्ड अपियर्स इन ड्रीम ऑफ दिस यंग बॉय इन यूएस ही डज नॉट पोस्टपोन इट टिल ही कम्स टू पुट अपर्ती इंस्टंट रिस्पॉन्स that is what i tell everybody this lord presently we feel that he is out of this body but he is working with supersonic speed his mission is going on with supersonic speed he is response instantly just close your eyes with love for him and tell him so me i love you in every situation just remember him don't ask for anything because that will dilute our love it will become conditional love he may not fulfill our desires there is no mon writing it is my experience and experience of many 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 true devotees all over not with this god but any god it god is not here to listen to our suggestions when we trust him shraddha and sabri we we should trust his wisdom his timings whatever i do or omit to do is for your own good and good of all i do not commit mistakes trust in my wisdom do not want to understand do not even try to understand learn to love my uncertainty my unpredictability that is true love that is true surrender surrender and shut up bhakt pralada meera shabri toka they never expected anything from god expectations means frustrations the moment we suggest to god we are putting god below our intelligence he knows the best how do we know we do not know our next moment so this boy gets that blessing god coming down to his dream to tell him thank you for loving me when i read this article this was it is when i recollected for this talk i remembered my own blessings probably i have recorded it some time back during the three zeros fire of three zeros talk when swami blessed me with his light emanating from his heart and merging into my being but my subconscious mind my mind i never blame any other authority any other entity for any good bad ugly in my life no one don't blame me in myself for that because i am 101% sure that nothing can ever happen without his intent will and this god from day one i love him only for this he takes the entire responsibility whatever good bad ugly he takes the rest. he doesn't say good is mine and bad is your karma no so i used to fight with him many times on this so even when he enlightened my heart and mind with his light i could not sit and look at his face because suddenly the dormant anger the frustration of 10 long years would come up on the surface and i would not be look at his face i am pining for his darshan but i am not able to sit for his darshan can you imagine the situation of a devotee i am dying for his darshan but cannot sit for his darshan cannot look at him and i pray to him swami please bring me out of this negativity you alone can do it because you alone have created it no one else touch me in even brahma vishnu mahesh they are not 
because I am under your protection. And this negativity is not my negativity, out of question. It is your game, you have to play it for me. And when you allow Lord to play on your behalf, like Swami told Udhava Krishna, that when Shakuni was, Duryodhana had this wisdom that he cannot play the game of dice with Yudhishthira. So he appointed as his representative, his Shakuni Mama, who was expert in playing, not expert, he was cunning in playing the game. Krishna told Udhava, even Yudhishthira had this option. When Duryodhana is putting his proxy representative to play on his behalf, Yudhishthira could tell, okay, I will call Krishna to play on my behalf and tell me Udhava if I had played with Shakuni on behalf of Yudhishthira, who would have won? The entire game would have changed. I learned this trick from Krishna because I am first Krishna Bhakta. I always put Swami forward for any situation. I said, Swami, it is your game. You have to play it. You have to save me. That's it. That very night, he appears in my dream. And his dreams are as good as reality. You can't forget it. They are as clear as waking state. Even sometimes more enlightening than waking state. This Jagat dream. And what does this God tell me? He appears in my dream just to tell me, I am sorry. Can you forgive me, please? Tell me, my dear brothers and sisters, which God can do like this to satisfy his devotee, his child, his childish prayer, just to remove the negativity from the mind of his child. The Lord of the entire universe, the cosmic authority himself, He comes down to our level like Krishna holding the sandals of Draupadi when she goes to take blessings of Vishampitabha. Like Krishna prostrating in front of all the Pandavas to protect them from the curse of that Rishi. God himself comes and tells me, I am sorry because I was blaming him. I can't blame anybody else for anything in my life. When praise goes to him, the blame also goes to him. <laughs> then he accepts that. And God telling, can you forgive me, please? That very instant, I cried in my dream. The whole pillow wet with my tears. And all negativity vanished like... One moment, never to come back. And once the negativity is gone, that frustration, the anger, the whatever darkness it is, just gone, then love overflows. How can we not love this God? Love Him, love Him intensely enough, sufficiently enough, selflessly enough for our own sake so that He can enlighten us enough to see the light, to see the reality, to become aware of entire situation and play our role. We have to play human. We can't play God. We have to play human, but not blindly. With enlightened mind, enlightened intelligence. Just imagine if our mind, our hearts, our intelligence is enlightened. 
we can do wonders in every field jai bolu bhagwan shri satya sai baba ji ki jai